development's all about corruption. It's all about women and ending corruption. When you have a corrupt rule of law, everybody's just building on quicksand and nobody gets anywhere. I spent a bunch of time in Asia and figured that out myself. Uh, by blockchain, by introducing blockchain into these processes, it's going to, there's all kinds of, there's a whole class of humanity that are rent, what economists call rent extractors. They're just in these positions. And every time, if you're in India, for example, I don't want to pick on one country, and you run a factory and you want to buy, you want to hire, you're expanding, you want to use more electricity, you go to some petty bureaucrat and you apply to hire 20 more people and to use more electricity, and you fill out forms, and of course you pay them off something. So at every little juncture of economic activity in India, there, there's this more, what Mexicans call la modita, the, the little bite. Um, that can all is going to get frozen out as this as these things move into blockchain. All that gets frozen out. Shh, don't tell. I, I actually don't want the crooks to know, because I don't think they're going to understand how badly they're going to get stumped by blockchain. Blockchain is going to end corruption around the globe over time. As more and more of governmental processes move into it, it's going to become harder and harder to be to get your more data.